Hey everybody and welcome to the channel. Well, you're probably missing my usual intro. That's because I'm on the road right now, but no worries. I have a bunch of videos lined up for you guys and I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Okay, enjoy the video. Okay, everybody, well, we're in my 2020 and we're going to do a teapot today. We're going to do the whole thing with the, the lid and the handle and the, whatever that other thing is called. A spout, I think, I'm not sure. I'm not a tea guy, but anyway, uh, we're going to get started. So we're going to take a polygon sphere and we're going to reduce the subdivision. So hit Control A and let's bring that down to, I would say, 11 or so. And I'm saying or so because... I kind of want to see how this will turn out, uh, this guy, how this will turn out from the position of the faces that I'm working on. Um, because I want to have correct subdivision for that. So let's see here. If I did 20 here, that would be, yeah, that'd be, that'd be fine. Okay. So 20 and 11, there you have it. Then we're going to jump in here. I'm going to right click go to uh, face, get rid of this, delete it, and then go up here and get rid of that and delete that too. All right, so we're going to work on the bottom first. We're going to right click go to edge. We're going to go in here, double click on it. Then we're going to hit extrude. We're going to W, we're going to push that down to about there. And then we're going to go to edit mesh and uh, actually mesh and fill hole. Now that's going to create a huge end gone right there. So we're going to go in here to face. We're going to go to edit mesh and poke to fix that problem. And then we might want to add some detail. So I'm going to insert edge loop. I'm going to go in here, set it to multiple and two. So I can put in two right there. We're going to Q on the keyboard. We're going to right click, go to face, click and shift to double click. Control E to extrude, and let's give it a thickness of 0 0.05. So now if we go in here and smooth it, it should look something like this, which is uh, kind of neat. Now we need to address that bottom though, because it looks a bit funky. So what we're gonna do there is we're gonna take this edge, double click, and we're gonna bevel it, yeah? That should make a lot of difference. Now segments, we can bump that up to two, you get something like that, and that would make it all right. And then what you can do is go into face, so hold on the tab key, select these, control E to extrude. Let's tweak the offset and bring one in to, let's say about there. Yeah. So now if we go in and we set three to preview smooth, it will look nice and clean. Okay, so that's that. Now let's look at the, uh, what's that thing called? Spout, whatever. We're gonna go in here we're going to look at the appropriate height that should come out from the bottom. I would say around here, most likely. One, two, three, four. Yeah, like that. And we kind of need to have a path for that thing. So we're going to move it. And I want to make sure that the faces that I removed, right, are in the right location. So what I'm going to do to know for sure is double click on that edge, select it. And you can see it's at this end right here, which is fine. If I hit four, there you go. So we need to create a path for that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to create, we're gonna go to curve tool, CV curve tool, and we're gonna start smack in the middle right here. And we're gonna click, and that would be two, three, four, five, six, seven, That'd be more than enough. And you can tweak that if you want. I think it's not bad. So I'm gonna go with that, yeah? Okay, so what I now need to do is I need to extrude this over that path right there, yeah? So I'm gonna double click on this and then I'm gonna shift select this guy. And then I'm gonna go up to edit mesh and uh, extrude. 
Okay, it's going to stick out straight like that. It's not following that curve because we don't have any subdivision yet. So as we add that subdivision, it's starting to form. But of course, this is all way too thick. So what we're going to do is we're going to take on that little corner down there. And actually, we'll select it in this top option here. And what we can do is we can turn on um, the taper, this guy. All right. So now we can taper this and we can make it smaller to a point where we're happy. Uh, that's a bit too much. I would say that would be about right. Yeah. Okay. So that's fine. Then we're going to go in here. Let's do a preview smooth. Let's hit three. And that's what it's looking like. It's a bit big, I would say. So let's address that. We'll hit, uh, we'll go over here. And well, so I'm just going to drag select all of this and I'm mainly going to bring it closer to my pot here. And I think that will make a huge difference. And then I'll take this and I'll have B on my keyboard for soft select and then bring down the impacted area like this by holding down the left mouse button like that. And we're going to kind of manipulate that a little bit. That makes it look a lot better. And then turn off soft select. So we're going to move it in some more. Get it nice and close to the pot there. Okay, we're going to go in here. We're going to select this guy. We're going to go to edit delete by type history so I can get rid of that curve there. And let's see if there's anything we need to adjust. It's not bad. Yep. We have that end uh, spout out whatever thing it's called yet yeah, we're gonna want to go back we're gonna go in here and we're gonna have the bottom stick out a little bit yeah so we're gonna go to edge click on those four and kind of extend that a little bit and then we're gonna take the entire edge control E we're gonna give it some thickness uh, up out of way out of way out of way negative Negative 0 0.01, maybe negative 0 0.04, that'd be better, yeah. And then we're gonna do G to repeat and W to push it in, All right? So come on, yeah, W to push that in. And there we go. Now, I don't know how far you wanna go, but that should be fine. Okay, let's do a preview smooth again, three, and they have it. And if you want to go further in here, you can, but it's, it's all right. Okay. I want to go back. Let's make this point a little bit less pointy. Let's bring that in and that one too. And then that's fine. And that one will go in a bit. Okay. Okay, so on the back here, we need to have a handle for the teapot, but we don't want it to be this thick. Um, kind of depends. Depends on if we smooth this guy out. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think we can make it work, right? Okay, so we're gonna go in here and we're gonna have one and two and three and four. That's fine, we'll get rid of that. Then what we'll do is we'll go in here and um, I can clearly see where I need to be. We're gonna do a new uh, curve here, CV curve tool. Let's start here and let's, I don't know, get a bit designy here. Or maybe just keep it simple. Yeah, not bad. We're going to right click, go to control vertex and we're going to hit a B for soft select. And I kind of want to manipulate that. So we're going to move that up a little, that one too. That looks a little cleaner, I would say. Yeah, that's fine. And then we're going to go in here. We're going to uh, Q on a keyboard. We're going to right click, go to uh, not vertex to Edge, yeah, double click, shift double click this guy, hit extrude, 
we need to have some uh, division. And as we do that, you see that it's starting to become a handle. So let's not go nuts on that. Let's do 10. I would say that's fine. Now we know that it's already connected on top because we extruded it from there, but on the bottom it's not, right? So what we need to do is we need to weld that in. So we're gonna go to, uh, let's see, mesh tools and target weld, all right? So once we do that, we can go in here, right click, go to vertex, drag select this guy and push it there and it will weld. So boom. That one's a bit tricky. There you go. We're going to do one here. We'll do one there. That should be it. Let's see if that's the case. We're going to go and hit three and have a look. And yeah, it's all good. Now on top, it's already um, set. So now we can tweak this, all right? And we're going to tweak it quite a bit. So we're going to go in here and first I'm going to go in and go to edit delete by type history so we can get rid of this guy. That's now gone. And we're going to go in and we're going to start to manipulate this a little bit. So let's go to object mode. Hit one. We're going to right click go to vertex. We're going to drag click this. Hit a B on our keyboard for soft select. We're going to hit W and we're going to kind of start to manipulate manipulate that a little bit manipulate yeah so let's go here and the idea here is to kind of try to raise that whole thing up a little bit and then this will go down a little bit like that then from the top, and I'm going to hit four for wireframe mode for this. We're going to drag like this and we're going to decrease the impacted area. And I'm going to hit R and I'm going to try to make that a bit thinner. And I probably need to do that in, um, in perspective mode, I would say. So we'll take this edge and we'll push that in, take that one push that in we'll take the next one and the next one here as well oops so these let's uh, push that in and then we just want that handle to be a bit thicker there so we'll do one more so we got this guy and this guy push that in and we might just want to keep on going because I'm liking this. All right, so that's not bad. We're still not there yet. Um, okay, so I'm going to hit Q on my keyboard. I'm going to right click the vertex, turn B off. I want the whole thing to be a lot closer. So I'll probably need to move this a little and this a little. And that should bring things much better into proportion. Let's see if that's the case. Let's hit three. Yeah, a lot better. A lot, lot better. Okay. All right, so that's cool. Um, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to the top here and let's hit one to go back. I'm gonna double click on this guy. Control E to extrude. Let's hit R and kind of flare that out a little bit. G to repeat, W to push up. G to repeat, R to scale in. And G to repeat and W to push down, like so. All right, so let's hit three and there you go. Now we want to have a lid on this thing, yeah? So uh, for that, what we'll do is we'll take a, um, yeah, what we'll do is a sphere. We'll hit W, move that up. Like this, and then uh, let's see, we'll hit, uh, 
Let me just check something. Yeah. We'll hit uh, 20 on that. That's fine. Yep. We're going to go in here. We're going to get this out of the way. We're going to right click, go to face. Let's set uh, drag, select um, half. We're going to go in here. We're going to move it down. We're going to scale it in. And then we're going to cut the top flat to, I would say, there. And then let's see how we can make this fit. Now, first of all, um, the top is way too high. So I'm going to scale it down like this. Make it look a bit better from a proportion standpoint. Then we're going to go in here. We're going to get an edge, double click. We're going to hit Control E to extrude, W to push down, G to repeat, R to scale in. So now if we smooth this guy, we should get a nice round edge. And we do. And if we W push this down like so, you'll see it's sitting nicely like that. Yeah. I think it looks okay. Uh, then we want to have some sort of little ball on top or something. Like you can uh, grab it. So let's double click on this, control E, we'll hit R to pull that in. And as we do that using R, it will dip down a little bit, G to repeat, and then we'll bring it to where we want to be. G to repeat, we're going to hit W to push up. And again, and up, and again, and up to about there. We're going to go to mesh and fill hole, edit mesh and poke to fix it. We just wanted the top, not everything. Thank you. This guy right here. Yeah. Edit mesh and poke. There you go. And then we're going to shape this guy a little bit. So we're going to hit after frame that we're going to hit injured edge loop, set it to two and put it in there. Yeah. Q on the keyboard. We're going to get a vertex and we're going to start to scale these out like this and then like this and we should be good but we'll see we're going to go in we're going to hit three okay so that looks fine that looks fine this guy we might want to tweak that just a little bit more so i'm going to go in Double click on this, double click on this. I want that to be a bit thinner to make it, uh, what's the word, more elegant, I guess. Yeah, liking that, okay. So there you go. There's our uh, teapot. Hopefully you guys had fun. Uh, if you did, please hit that like button. If you want to see more videos in the future, don't forget to subscribe, right? See you guys next time. Bye.